Hey everyone, Playtested here. This is going to be my first ever full length video and today I want to be going over my personal experience for going for the MM2 leaderboard. The reason why I'm making this video is to show what it's like for a new leaderboard grinder and to get a full tip. This video will be split into multiple parts and while I want you to watch all the way through, some of you might want to get a synopsis on a certain section so feel free to skip any of the times that you see on screen. Also, no hate to anyone mentioned this video. All the things that I say about leaderboard players are just jokes, and they're all great people. With that being said, let's get into the first section of the video. Ah yes, Murder Mystery 2. You know, the game that has 12 year old slenders trying to spoil their copy and paste girlfriends with two goblies. Yeah, that one. Twice a year, Murder Mystery 2 receives two major updates, the Halloween update and the Christmas update. Both updates contain new maps, boxes, overpriced sharp goblies, and much more. One thing that you will probably glance over is the leaderboard section, where people that have no social life come together to try to bully innocent children in small servers and force them to leave. The leaderboard for Halloween and Christmas work differently in some aspects, but they both have the same general idea, where the goal is to collect as many candies and snow tokens as possible throughout the event. Obviously, buying tokens doesn't go toward your leaderboard score, since it literally says it on the page. Rest in peace to everyone that took their mom's credit card to buy $20,000 worth of Robux. The difference with Christmas is that not only does it have a token grinding leaderboard, but it also has a Robux- <clears throat> I mean, gifting leaderboard. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. For the gifting leaderboard, instead of just grinding coins and keeping them in your inventory, you instead have to purchase a gift and then click on another player so that they can receive that gift. However, for people that are super lazy, this time buying snow tokens actually works. That way, you can flex on everybody that you make an insane amount of profit from UGC items. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Simply Lemon. Seriously, we get that you spent 4 million Robux just to get a clean gift count. For the purpose of this video, I will not be covering the gift leaderboard portion since... Well, uh, I'm not rich. Grinding for the Inman 2 leaderboard isn't an easy task. Are you Dude, get that off the screen, will ya? Don't pay any attention to that, that was just me being comfy on the first day of the event. Anyways, it's definitely not easy, so it's always best to have a few strategies. What I personally did that helped me a lot was set goals for collecting a certain amount of candies or snow tokens every hour. Most people going for low placements on the leaderboard get around 1000 per hour. However, to increase the chance of ending up on the leaderboard, you might want to get as many coins as you can. Here are the strategies that I use. First off, you're going to need to find a small server. To do this, I recommend getting an extension called Ropro, as Ropro allows you to search for small servers very quickly. I think Roblox added a feature that allowed you to do this, but I'm not sure. I also found that using all the counts works best. However, it's very possible to get on the leaderboard while farming with one to two friends. However, if you choose to use alts, I recommend getting in a server using two to three alts unless it's peak hour, and I'll be explaining peak hour a little bit later. This year, I used a cover to help me grind. A cover is just someone that goes onto your account and grinds for you if you're busy or something. While I don't recommend doing this, I did it anyways since I had a massive workload for college and I just wanted to get a top spot. During the Halloween 2022 event, I only chose certain maps. I listed the best maps from best to worst in my opinion. Remember, what you need to focus on is speed and consistency, so I recommend joining a low player server and practice your coin collecting before the event. Yikes, peak hour. One minute you'll be in a two player server and the next minute it gets instantly full. Peak hour is when MM2 gets a lot of players to join, so it makes it like very difficult to find small servers. From my experience, there's only two types of peak hours, American peak hour and Russian peak hour. American peak hour usually runs from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. EST, while Russian peak hour seems to happen from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. EST. If you plan on grinding during these times, I recommend finding a 5 player server and farming there until you notice the MM2 player count drops significantly. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to find a server. Almost impossible. If you're on a leaderboard, you might have a chance to meet these little pests called raiders. What raiders do is brute force into your game and try to ruin your server or slow you down. I've had experience with two raiders so far. One was this guy that joined my game and ruined it for you, and the other one was some random copy and paste who got 10 other friends to join her. 
While raiders are very annoying, chances are you won't see them if you're lower on the leaderboard, so the best way that you can avoid them is just having your joins off, or fill your server to the brim with alts if you have a natural computer. <laughs> While I don't know many leaderboard grinders, I can certainly say that the leaderboard community is very welcoming. Their community is full of people that are willing to help you, and even just chat with you. What I found pretty cool is that during the event, there would always be like a bunch of them sitting in the call with each other, and just keeping each other company while they farm. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that video. I had to rush a bit to get this video out since I wanted to release it before the Christmas event. I also wanted to announce that I'll be going for future leaderboard events since I find it kind of enjoyable. However, I won't be going for a top spot since I want to go for the leaderboard solo from now on. Anyways, I would appreciate it if you subscribed since I want to make M2 content in the future. Before I go, I would like to leave this last part of the video thanking everybody that helped me during this event. Bye.